welcome to my channel, Princess Petals and Fairy Dust Florals. Like and subscribe below and share with a friend. And if you have a floral shop, floral boutique, or garden center you would like for us to visit, shoot us a message and we would love to come out and chat floral. Today, we are going to be making a double ribbon Duke Blue bow. What are these fabulous for? These are fabulous for Duke games, of course. Any school that has the dark blue, royal blue colors, you can definitely use them in corsages, um, in your hair, which I do that all the time. But they're definitely more festive. You'll see a lot of uh, double ribbon bows at holidays just because you want to be able to use two colors instead of just one for a holiday. Uh, it's not just two different colors, it can be two different patterns also of the same color or two different uh, ribbons, same pattern, different colors. So there's lots of combinations you can do. And the reason you would do this is to draw more interest to the bow, but also it brings more excitement when you have more than just one color. So let's get started. Let's get started. Here we have our supplies that we're going to be using today. I have got my nice sparkly scissors, my three wires, not that we'll use all three, and then our 5 8 ribbon, or in the floral world, we call it the number three size ribbon. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a double ribbon. And a double bow, or double bow, for a bow this size, we only are gonna need about a yard of ribbon. So I have already measured out 36 inches. First thing we are going to do is place one color on top of the other. And today I'm using Duke Blue and then an iridescent color. Your iridescent colors are always fabulous because they will also pick up whatever color you're pairing it with. But we are doing a Duke bow today, Duke double ribbon bow. So you were gonna put them over top of each other. From here, you make your first loop. First loop is about the width of your finger right there. The length of your finger right there. Then in the center with both of those ribbons there, you are going to twist it and then put your thumb back over the twist. And you see how long that is. From here, you are going to make another loop on the opposite side, bring it back to the center, and you want it to be the same length as your first loop. And from there, you are going to twist that in the center. And then we are just going to repeat that back and forth, loop to the center, twist, loop to the center, twist. And you want to get it as exact in length as possible. And I do want to have tails on this bow, so I'm leaving this. Bring it up to the back side, and I'm gonna hold it in the back, because this is gonna be my tail. Then I am taking my wire. I am putting it over top of all those twists right there in the center. From there, I always make sure I pull it completely over 
and twist that tight. The key is you don't want to have any space in between your wire and your ribbon. Then you pull that down. On this bow, we're just cutting at an angle for the tails. And then you start just pulling each loop out because you want it to be in a round circle. And then from the side, it's gonna look like a little dome. Once you get that round circular for your loops, then you can go back in and start just separating them. And remember, the bigger the bow, the more loops you want to have. So what would this size bow be used for? This can be used on a corsage for one of the ball games. It can definitely be put on a little gift bag that you would be giving out for any event. But that is my Duke Blue double ribbon bow. And that is our double ribbon Duke Blue bow. Like and subscribe below and share with a friend. And if you have a floral shop, floral boutique, or garden center you would like for us to highlight on our channel, shoot us a message and we would love to come out and chat floral. Until next time, sparkle on!